Well, that swung in late. He dug it out only just the first runs of the test down through the vacant mid-on region. And he'll pick up a couple, but a little bit of an anxious... Reaches for that one and hammers it through the covers. That's a beautiful shot. It was very wide, but he's prepared to have a crack at it. Hooking. Good shot. But has he beaten fine leg? He has. He's not quite going right for New Zealand. Short outside leg stump and it gets the treatment. And Morrison, really quite a good effort down here at fine leg. And the ball just eluding him. Whipped away nicely. A big chase again for Danny Morrison. Should be able to overhaul this one. From Chris Kens. Oh, that's beautifully played. A shot of real authority from Amma Sahail. The weeks ago, he did say on that occasion that he got a good one from Craig McDermott. Disappointed not to get to the three. Well, that's crashed away through the covers. Superb shot. Morrison, this spell, I think Dion needs to make this bowling change. Let's give uh, Dion Nash a bit of a go. Think... It's fallen, it's straight down the ground. No need to run for that. Short and pulled away. As well clear of the field. And... Yeah, two, two. It's down the ground. You heard the call for two and it's easily taken. Previous call for two and that magnificent straight drive, but by and large the story is. And he's gone for it again, he's got it through again. Between point and gully, there's no third man. This is magnificent batting by Amir Sahail. Hauled away by Amir Sahail. Bounces a few times for more. And that's 50 for the left-handed opening batsman. He's hitting the ball so sweetly. Not quite sure what the New Zealanders can do at the moment. Well, he was a very good form during the series in Australia. And he certainly continued that in the 200s. And that high score. Good one against England at old picking up pace. Tokyo picking up pace. Sahail has certainly picked up the pace here. And it's just dribbled over the boundary for four runs. Him just wandering away, didn't know where it was. And in fact, the ball wasn't hit quite as well as Roger Two's thought so. And it only dribbled over. Another flashing shot through the offside. The outfield is pretty quick. That's another boundary. That's full and driven down the ground. Just eludes Patel. May go all the way and does. Talked about Sahail putting it away when it's short and wide. Yes, uh, two loose deliveries by Deepak Patel in this over. One shot out charge of some dispatch over and one over pitch is driven straight. Short edge over the top four runs. Cricket is a cruel game. Surely very disappointed man, Chris Cairns there. 20. Well, there's the pull, but he's got on top of it. He's played it very well. To hit it in front of square. And as you say, that's gone through whitish mid on or mid wicket anyway. Just an indicator. Oh, that's beautifully played. Two successive boundaries. And uh, Sahail races up to 86. Stumps, I think. So all in all, the session not looking as bad after all. Perhaps too many runs, but two wickets, 146 for two. Because of this. Just watch the footwork here, that's the problem for Sahali. He loses his feet, his foot, in, in, in other words, the, uh, I don't know if he's got full sprigs on, we might better see from the shot. Maybe no sprigs at all, and that's cost him dearly. Because he's actually lost his footing, and he just hasn't walked on it, he smashed them. I think he saved the umpire having to make a decision on LBWs, but it would have been pretty close on that as well.